Hey guys, and welcome back to another video. And as you can see, I have a rough sketch done here in Procreate, and I'll kind of explain this in a little bit. Um, but before we jump into today's draw with me, today's video is sponsored by PUBG Mobile. So PUBG Mobile is a three to play battle royale mobile game, and they are having a collaboration event with Line Friends, which is named very cutely as Chicken Dinner with Line Friends. So in this crossover event, you can get cute exclusive items such as skins and ornaments. You can also do so by participating in events happening in game and on PUBG Mobile's social media pages. I personally think the game is actually quite fun, even for people who are very new to the game, such as me. Um, it also has really lovely graphics and runs very smoothly on my phone, and I love how you can kind of like customize your character to be ready for each battle. Um, it's definitely fun to play with friends or even make new friends. There, it's definitely multiplayer friendly, and if you are a big fan of line friends and a fun mobile game, then do check out the link in the description. Um, thank you very much to PUBG Mobile for sponsoring today's video. Now on to PUBG Mobile and Line Friends illustration. Okay, so as mentioned earlier, I am going to be doing an illustration based off of the collaboration. And I have one of the PUBG Mobile characters right here at the front. Is this the female character? And we'll go in and kind of refine the sketch first before we move on. And then I have Brown and Coney as well as the pan and a few accessories that you can get from the collaboration event that they had. So the two characters right here, Brown and Coney, are from Line Friends. So yeah, so let's just get started and I'll talk a little bit about the illustration and what I have planned as well as, I guess you guys will basically see me um, flesh this out a little bit more just because it's still in the rough stages as you can see. I have a few references on my phone just for accuracy's sake and yeah we're just gonna kind of fix these up a little bit oh let me show you guys like a quick time lapse actually so just kind of have the figure Right here, trying to plan this out. I think I drew her a little bit too big, so maybe I'll end up shrinking her a little bit. But then I had brown, and I didn't know exactly how I wanted to draw him fully. Uh, he has like a little welding mask on top of his head. I have the pan right here. I have a little bit of like an explosion or clouds or dust kind of being kicked up. And then I'm putting Coney in the back. Kind of really cute and kind of grabbing at like the little keychain that i'm gonna put right here and i just thought it was a cute little detail to add the little um like one of the accessories and stuff you can get from the game itself uh so about the game i have played pubg mobile a little bit and it's actually quite fun i haven't experienced really a battle royale type of mobile game before so playing PUBG Mobile was very interesting and it was very fun to um, learn the mechanics and the controls on it. But I love the fact that they're doing these collaborations, especially because like, as someone who really likes cute stuff, seeing line friends be a part of um, like a mobile game is very cool. So in terms of why I had a rough sketch done kind of prior to filming, because usually for the most part when I film like iPad videos, I show the sketching portion as well. And even though I didn't like do the entire sketch off screen, I did some of it off screen just because I did thumbnailing and stuff in my sketchbook for a little bit. And I didn't want to become too nervous to do the pose on the iPad, which was kind of dumb of me, but it's okay. Chicken dinner with friends. I think that's really cute. I'll have to do my best to render the metal for this. Also, I'm just like, this thing's telling me all my flaws. <laughs> 
anatomy, hats, metal, kind of like a little, little tea cheese, for the bottom patty, and then bottom bun. I'm kind of making it more front facing rather than the um, like kind of like up view that I had it just because Yeah, this isn't this isn't too bad. I think it'll be really cute I think I want I do want it to be a little bit on the warmer side So I'm gonna do what I usually do. So duplicate my sketch. I'm gonna hide the one on the bottom I'm gonna change the first one to multiply mm, So I'm gonna change the color of it first Intensify it make it a little lighter on the brown side. Um, okay, so I'm gonna make a new layer, as you see. And we're gonna put all the background colors on this. So I'm, not, I'm gonna ignore this and just add background colors to this layer. Okay, so what I had in my thumbnail... So how do we want to do this? We could go very bright colors first. And kind of lead it towards yellow to the top over here but the thing is is like i kind of want it to be on the warmer side so maybe i should just start off with a yellow base but yeah how do i want to do this you could lean it towards like a bluish purple up here kind of make it look a little bit dusty i do want it to be a little bit more orange but also brighter up here intensify the orange a little bit more and then once we have this established I will erase the sketch lines because when I merge them they're gonna be on the wrong layer anyways <laughs> so let's take this off get rid of all these I'm probably gonna add like kind of like speckles or debris afterwards just to make it look more like um even like a dust cloud or explosion kind of went off behind them so we're gonna probably have to do intense lighting because i think they are gonna be more or less backlit but i don't want them to be in complete like darkness if that makes sense <laughs> like this i guess because I guess my lamp's over there, so it's kind of backlighting my hand. I'm gonna bring out... <laughs> this looks more like clouds. Intensity a little bit. Let's dull it down ever so slightly. We will just like throw in the figure. The colors for the figures and stuff. So I'm gonna make a new layer. Let's do this. So I'm gonna pick kind of more like a mid-tone. So that we can do the highlights for her. Kind of more like rim lighting. For her. So usually when I do these kinds of in more intense lightings in the past, I usually have some kind of a reference, but this time I do not. So apologies that if this doesn't look entirely correct with the light source that I have set out. As usual, I don't like using pure white, so kind of tinted it a little bit. I'm gonna have to add more shadows. So I don't know how warm to make them. Cause like usually for shadows, I like making them quite cool. And we might want that for some contrast. Tank top, tank top, tank top is black. Um, we're gonna lean it towards kind of this purpley color. And then as we move away from the light source, maybe we'll add a little bit more purpley blue-ish colors. I'll make this a little bit later. This is supposed to be like metal. 
much more darker and cooler colors. Use the same color for her shades as like the base because these are gonna be quite dark. Um, gonna push the values a little bit more like this. Push it with this side. I'm gonna use kind of like the oranges and whites that I do have going on in the background. Do a better job of rim lighting this. Is this kind of as rim lighting? I don't know. This is. I don't know why I keep questioning myself. It is. <laughs> Use the same weight. I love adding purple to reds. It just like really deepens the color really nicely by adding like a different hue. And I feel like purple just helps with that, like usually in general. <laughs> I always like adding some kind of like shift in hue if I can to clothing and any flatter, like larger, flatter areas just because it can get a little bit too flat if you just add one flat color, I guess. Like it looks too harsh, I guess, is that's what I'm trying to say. So usually I would push this, um, darker colors but because it's also being pushed to the background we can probably get away with making it lighter underneath and darker on top it's not looking too bad at least like on the camera it's not looking too bad <laughs> in person it's a lot to fix but it's a start it's a start Is the frog's name Leonard? 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 Is it Leonard or Leonard? Hmm. All I know is the 8 loves this frog and it's very cute. Cause if not, if I could add like an overlay layer or a screen layer or something to kind of match the colors a little bit closer to like a certain temperature if I wanted to. Simple brown color. Kind of got shadows for a lovely dude right here. It's kind of being little, hmm. How do I want this? Now that I realize that I think he's being lit underneath though. But he's kind of. Little bit of purple for the shadow. I'm gonna add a darker brown. I feel like I don't need to narrate all this. I feel like a lot of this is very straightforward. I don't actually grab the same metal color. There's a lot of the colors like you can color pick from. And I think that's like one of the fun things when you're drawing multiple characters. Is making kind of more of a cohesive color scheme by matching and kind of like swapping and trading colors with the existing characters that you already have drawn. Basically any area that's kind of being touched and hugged by the light coming from the left, just for more of a dramatic effect. Now I don't know if I'm gonna keep it, hmm. I'm gonna turn it off and we'll, we'll come back to it later, but for now we're just gonna start to render everything. So let's just, start. I think I'm gonna start with the figure first just because um, Brown and Coney are in the... Oh wait, no. Let's start with Brown and Coney first because they're in the back. So I can cover anything that's unnecessary with the figure. I'm gonna have to be careful with the line work um, for this just because the light being so strong, I can't use too dark of a color, especially where the rim lighting is. 
everywhere else I can kind of go ham. Kind of like what the color we already have established due to the sketch. I'm actually going to do something I usually don't do too often. I'm going to open up a reference. Shrink it a little bit. Just kind of have them on the side so I can kind of see as I'm working. Just in case I change something too drastic. Or if it does not look right. So you shall have a reference for something like this, but I accidentally um, closed my reference. <laughs> so we're just gonna work with what we got. Just because like, I feel like it wouldn't really help me entirely with how I want to do the lighting per se. It probably helped me better to get like an actual better shape. Um, because I'm not used to drawing this object. I don't know what you call this. This is like his like his muzzle. Is that what you call it on a like on a mammal? Like a bear? Okay, let's add his mouth. I actually really like the detailing of brown. Where kind of like one side of his mouth is a little bit longer than the other. I think that's cute. Very interesting design. I don't know if I should add- should I add a shadow to his- is it a muzzle? I don't know if this is a muzzle. I feel like I'm talking quieter. I feel like I'm getting to the point where the process is a little bit more like I don't know what to talk about as much. Okay, I think brown's almost done. Just like I think it's just his body that's left because I think I'm gonna leave the shadow like this. It's very simple just because I don't want it to like distort his face too much and then we can go a little bit more ham with the figure because I kind of excited to do the fabric or at least attempt to do the fabric so here's a more prominent looking outline so I'm gonna use the same black color for his eyes and the pony's really cute I think rabbit characters are very cute but like I don't know. I feel like all line characters are very cute for the most part. Yeah, but I didn't realize how saturated the color I was using for Kony. Like, her outline shouldn't be that brown, I guess? Just to make sure she doesn't look too- like, she doesn't stand out too much. I think it's like the first time in a long time I have drawn like a non-human character. <laughs> it's kind of fun. I think partially because like blind friends have very cute shapes to them. So I think it's very fun to see them like a part of PUBG Mobile's game. Which is definitely more like... I guess like... They're considered a battle royale game. But I think it's interesting, like the, the gameplay of that in contrast with these cute line friend characters is very cute. Okay, so the lettering's for, I think, the chip bag. It's technically in black. Other than the line friend characters, I think I'm gonna make everything else quite warm. Just because I feel like the black works better for their characters, just because it's how they actually are illustrated or drawn. I think it's always good to alternate um, some lighter and darker areas when doing your line art as well. Especially if they have like more, if you have one like consistent color for the line art, it'll look very flat. But if you do it 
by adding darker areas kind of where um kind of like where it kind of dips inwards it kind of helps a lot more sorry also i didn't explain this sorry if the light's a little jarring i know usually in my videos i have more like warmer light but I thought the brighter light just looked better in general, just because I feel like things just look more clearer. Okay, let's do this chain part. See, correct. And we're just gonna kind of loop this. Make the highlight just a little bit stronger towards the bottom. Hey! So there is another character I feel like um, PUBG Mobile is more associated with, which is like um, one of the male characters, right? But I do not feel comfortable drawing like a person with facial hair. So I decided to do this female character because I thought, um, well, one, I don't draw female characters as often as I used to, but it was a little bit more closer to my comfort zone in terms of like drawing um, these kinds of characters, and I want to be able to do them at least like somewhat justice. And I feel like if I drew the male character, it would not look entirely correct. So far, I'm like, I'm pleased with this. I, I think it's looking quite cute. And kind of fun, especially with the colors. I usually like working with like a warmer color palette, so... At least like, there's some like familiarity. But I think like, yeah, I feel like... Um, PUBG Mobile is actually quite fun to play. I feel like it just takes a bit, um... Of time to get used to, especially if you're new to the game like I was. But I think it's like fun to learn and because it has so many step-by-step -step, like things, tutorial kind of hints and stuff, especially if you're new, it'll kind of like pop up on your screen and it's really helpful. Actually really cute. I'm gonna add a little bit of stuff onto the hat as well like on the little letter of it because it being like one pure color just it doesn't look correct i didn't really establish the lighting on her hair actually like other than on this side can't do the outline of sunglasses i guess like the sunglasses can be like one piece of glass like it doesn't have like technically the rims it's like intense lighting on this it looks too like bulbous so i'm gonna make it a little bit more very flat shine on here I'm just gonna put an indication of her other one i usually put um the other eyebrow in there anyways like regardless if it's kind of covered by the hair Okay, let's finish off the hair and then we can move on to the rest of the body because I think like that's how my workflow is gonna be for the most part. I don't even know where I left off. Hair? Hair, I'm assuming it was hair. So I'm probably going to try to keep the hair fairly simple. I don't know if I like the shape of her nose. Kind of scooch it in a little bit. I feel like it's much easier. Just because of the flow of the hair. Like my wrist feels like it always goes this way. So doing like this way feels awkward. 
I think this is like good practice. So I don't really, I don't draw a lot of like tighter clothing either, especially like in more of a slightly scrunched up pose. Let's quickly outline this part. We'll kind of connect the arm up as well. Because her ear looks like it's too big. I'm gonna shrink it. Bend this finger downwards. Just like the rest. Could probably get rid of that line. I think it's like nice to use those lines so you can kind of block in the fingers. But then also I feel like I didn't do a good job of establishing what was what. <laughs> This looks better now, now that I gave more length to the other fingers. I just, I'm waiting. I've been waiting for like a while to for my birthday. So I'm just gonna order like a giant sushi platter. <laughs> I think I talked about this before, but it's coming up so I'm finally excited because I think I haven't had sushi in like so long. Okay, the burger doesn't have too much to touch up. I'm just gonna darken some lines and then call that done. That and then put back the chain. Just gonna kind of steal from here. Wait, should I put a shadow for the pan? If that makes sense. Hey, I think I think that's actually all. And then I can still spiffy up the arm a little bit. Make it a little bit brighter near the pan. Kind of like the shinier areas and. Add this in between. Really sharpened with his uses. I'm gonna add a little bit of a like a, like a shine. see it up there but yeah so I have a shine right there the lighting I'm gonna add a little bit of extra debris so what I'm gonna do is set this to add set it to like an orange color and with the uh, sharp render brush we're gonna kind of just add Off. Once again, I will I'll probably use Gaussian Blur. We'll see how this works. really pretty like that. I'm gonna lower the opacity a little bit to give it a little bit more transparency in some areas. Mainly like here. Blur it a little bit. I'm gonna lower the opacity. And yeah I think I think we're we're done. I think it looks quite cute and I actually had a lot of fun working on this even though I thought I wasn't gonna like Working on the welding mask. Uh, I'm gonna show you guys a quick time lapse. So I'm just gonna quickly scrub through this. You guys would already saw the sketching portion. Here comes brown. Frying pan. 
zirconi. And then this is where we started today, where I started to refine and kind of fix things. Clean up a little bit before we add base colors. So here we had the background. Skin tone, and then the clothing, some shading. I think the rim lighting actually really helps with how I wanted this to look. Especially like on brown and Kony. Kind of helps a little bit. Kony a little bit not as much just because um, she is very pale and very white. But it works on brown because I can actually add the yellow to white gradient as the rim lighting. Frying pan actually looks really cute too. Yeah, a little bit of effects, shadow, lighting, everything is done. And yeah, I actually think it looks really cute. And hopefully you guys enjoyed watching me draw this. And be sure to check out the links in the description if you're interested in downloading or checking out PUBG Mobile and their collaboration with Line Friends. And once again, thank you very much to PUBG Mobile for sponsoring today's video. And I'll talk to you guys next time. Bye!